Thank you very much for having me. It's nice to see you all. I'm starting this brief presentation with two photographs that reveal a bit of my working methods for the ongoing series power. For those that aren't familiar, I use an 1850s photographic process called wet plate collodion to make photographs directly onto 55 gallon oil drum lids. This is an in-camera process, so I built the camera you see here to fit these lids. The back of the camera detaches and holds a sensitized 55 gallon drum lid. Here you see me coating the lid with collodion. Collodion is cotton that has been dissolved in alcohol and ether, hence the respirator. After coating, I submerge the plate in a bath of silver nitrate, which makes the plate sensitive to light. From here, it goes into a plate holder and attaches back onto the camera that you saw in the last slide. The composed seam is projected through the lens and onto the sensitized drum lid. It is then developed immediately on site in my portable darkroom. This image here is one of the first images I made for this project at the Navajo refinery in Artesian, New Mexico. This photograph and the following were commissioned by the Ogden Museum in New Orleans and were part of their new Southern Photography exhibition. The commission allowed me to travel with my portable darkroom and make work throughout Texas and Louisiana. Both these photographs were made in Corpus Christi, Texas. The rest of the work I'm going to show you was made in Los Angeles, California, which is the closest and largest oil producer to where I live in Phoenix. So it has been more accessible to me than the rest of the country. I love the brutalist architecture of this power plant. This photograph was made in Williamton and shows the Phillips 66 refinery and the neighborhood that surrounds it. You'll see that this series of photographs is intertwined between focusing solely on the industrial complexes and showing the industry's interaction with the community at large. This is a photograph made behind a Home Depot and shopping center. Oil production takes place in all demographics and neighborhoods in Los Angeles, including Beverly Hills, although there it is hidden behind a building facade. This tintype is a Valero asphalt plant in Los Angeles. And this one is of someone's backyard on Signal Hill. This is the last photograph I want to talk about this evening. And it is the only one in the series that is not titled based on a location and corporation. This one is titled The Hand of Man, which is an homage to this photograph made by Alfred Stieglitz of the same name. Here you see a coal-powered steam train in the train yard bellowing coal smoke. Made in 1902 during the rise of industrialized America, I consider the sublime, the awe and terror Stieglitz must have felt making this image, and I wanted to draw a parallel between the experience of the sublime in these works. I wonder whether Stieglitz felt this was an incredible invention or a terrible future devastation. I felt the symbolism in this piece was potent and lined up perfectly to deepen this conversation. I made this image with just enough time before the tractor trailer with the U.S. connection written on the side of it began to move out of frame. Above the tractor trailer is the American flag, shown backwards as a result of the direct positive process. Beneath the flag, a small triangle of pipes, for me, represented a much larger idea a nod to another technological feat of humanity, the Great Pyramids. With this in mind, I reattach that photograph on top of a stack of 55 gallon drums, stacked, as you can see, in a pyramid form. This piece has been shown at the Phoenix Art Museum and the Candela Gallery in Richmond, Virginia. Thank you very much for your time.